Eyewitness News begins with breaking news. And good Friday afternoon to you. Thanks for being with us. I'm Mike McDaniel. The FBI raided the New Orleans Sewerage and Water Board this morning. They were looking for records in the plumbing department related to a David Hammer investigation we aired last night. David joins us live now from the Sewerage and Water Board. Hey there, David. Good afternoon, Mike. Yeah, last night we did a story detailing months of uh, my investigation into self-dealing in the Sewerage and Water Board Plumbing Department. And this morning, FBI agents were here on St. Joseph Street uh, taking documents related to that plumbing department. Uh, they came in, they came out. Actually, I saw two agents coming out with a bag and then additional agents came and got additional boxes out of a U-Haul truck that was parked right behind where I'm standing now. And they went in and were able to get uh, additional documents. They're still in there as we uh, believe right now. And we got a statement from Gassan Korban, the executive director of the Sewerage and Water Board, reacting, saying the Sewerage and Water Board of New Orleans leadership condemns any illegal or unethical activity or behavior by any employee. And we should say that it's absolutely no coincidence that they're here this morning. Uh, the plumbing department at the Sewerage and Water Board is completely paper records. There's absolutely nothing digitized. Everything is on index cards and uh, handwritten. So they needed to get in there and get those documents related to issues that we detailed where you had contractors and plumbing inspectors working together. Uh, there have been uh, indictments, federal indictments related to similar schemes among city inspectors and contractors. And so this is all tied into that, we believe, and we've been told, and uh, we'll just continue to follow that. And tonight at 10, I'll have more details about the people involved that they are potentially looking into. We understand that they got a few years worth of records on this uh, federal subpoena, and there'll be more to come as they continue to get those documents here at the Sewerage and Water Board offices behind me. Mike. David Banks, and as mentioned, that raid was centered around issues David investigated in a piece we aired last night. You can watch the full story later in this newscast.